Hello viewers. In this video, we will show you how to pass values from one form to another. There would be two scenarios. You have your first form open and when you click on a button, a second form opens and you would want to pass the first form's value into the second form's and in the second form, you make a selection through a list box and then when you close the, the second form, you want the value to be passed back to the first form. So it's a two-way interaction. Let's start with um, uh, the first form. So I'm creating a form which is called form one. I'm gonna throw some labels up there and two text boxes. And a button. Okay, so the first form would the first label would be employee name. The second could be department. And the button could be called lookup. Yep. So the idea is that um, when a user inputs an employee name, um, he needs to look up the department values from a different uh, lookup form. And when the values are selected in the second form, the value is passed back to the department. Okay, so let's create um, another form. So another Windows form, I'll call it form two for the sake of simplicity. Throw a label another label so the first label is uh, select depth 4 so I'll call this label as um, label employee name and I'll throw a list box there. Then I'll put a button. Okay, so the button could be called as closed or labeled as closed or close. Select and close. And let's put some values in the, in the in the list box. So I'll say with me dot So we have three departments, department A, department B, and department C in the list box. And we would like to make a selection. <coughs> Before we go any further, we will have to register a new event. A form has a number of events, as we know. We're gonna create another event and we'll call it race event. Uh, and we call it um, get department. Sorry, we're not going to raise the event here. We're going to create the event here. So this is an event which will get raised. And in the first form, we'll raise this event. Okay, so let's complete the form two. So the list box has a selection there. Now we would Now is the time to raise the event which we have registered and the event gets displayed automatically. So we're raising the get department event 
and me dot close. So the second form would gracefully ra raise an event called get department and then get closed. Now we can hook this event which is being raised here in our first form. So when we go to the first form, let's do two things here first. We declare with events. This is important. It, the form has to be raised through with events so that the new events which you're creating, for example, the get department gets registered with the form. So form as new. Okay, so we are registering this. Well, instantiating it here. Um, and then we would in the close button, in the lookup department button, we would say Remember, in the second form, we created an, a label called employee name, and we can pass the value So we are saying that uh, when you open the form, when you open the second form, we would want the label employee name dot text to be the name of the employee which we pass in the first form. And then we say form show. So I'll show you what I mean by this. Let's check if the form two looks okay. Yeah, form two, when the form two shows, opens up, it has the event registered at the top, the list box gets filled, the events get traced, and me dot close is done. Okay. Coming back to the new event which we have created. We are in form one, and if I go there, I can see our new form, which we call as FR, because we created this with, with events. We can see the events here. So one of the events would be one of the events would be get department. So let's yeah. So we are raising that, and then all we have to do is me dot text box 2 which is our placeholder for putting the department we'll say fr dot list box 1 dot selected item dot to stream okay let's run this so we have this form I'll put the name as John and we click the lookup, second forms open up. See the value gets passed, the John, the name of the employee gets passed to the to the second form. And now we would want this department to be passed back to this form. So when I say select and close, oh, it's going to the wrong text box. So let's change it to two and that should fix the problem. Okay, here we go. Employee name is John. We look up and then we select the department B for John and then the value gets passed. So we have done a two-way passing of the values. The value of the first form gets passed to the second form. The second, val the second form's value also gets passed to the first form. So this is what we wanted to show you. Once again, I'll show you the, um, the, the basic principle of um, doing it. In the first form, you register your form through with events. When you open up the second form, you you can pass the value of whatever value or variable you want to pass to a control, or you could also pass it to a public variable. You can declare a public vari variable in the second form, and you can pass the value like that. In the second form, when you do all your lookups and everything, you you also declare an event which gets hooked up in the first form. So when you close the form, you just raise that event so that the first form can trap it. And that's where we trap that uh, event. 
and then at that point of time the value of the second form uh, the control values of, of any any control value text boxes label or the list box selected items can be trapped there and passed to the first form okay viewers thank you very much for watching it